This is a SEAL event, and make no mistake, the highest levels of leadership in the SEAL community support this event. So we're trying to send a positive message of unity and patriotism for our country at a time when our country really needs it. And our country is unique because it's the only nation founded on ideas, ideals of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and equality. And those ideas are transcribed in the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. And our country has continued to make great strides to live up to those ideals. And that's, and that's what that's what we're about. And that's what we believe in freedom. We believe in liberty. We believe in, in your rights, your civil rights. And that's what we stand for. And that's what this is about. And that's the message we're trying to send to our country and remind everybody how beautiful our country is. And that's why we wave our flags and we run them with pride and when you guys are running into the World Trade Center and you got the PAPD and FDNY Pipers playing for you as you enter into that sacred hallowed ground, it'll be a feeling that you will never forget. And when you swim by the Statue of Liberty and you see that freedom of torch, that torch of freedom there, and what that represents for our entire nation, our entire planet the freedoms and liberties that our country represents. And you swim by Ellis Island and how many millions of American families came to there to seek a better life. And how many millions of Americans have recently come to our country to seek a better life and to celebrate our nation's diversity. It's, it, it, it's such a, a strong reminder of how great our nation is, how great we are how great we continue to be. Then when you swim, you see the Freedom Tower as you're swimming into Lower Manhattan, one of the financial capitals of our country and the world. Eight million people plus. You think about the strategic tactical message we're doing there. There we are running through New York City with our shirts off holding American flags high. That's what this is about. This is much more than a swim. It's a reason why all these news channels cover it. We're sending a message that our country needs, and I'm very honored and proud that you're a part of that. Now, we're honored today that there are many men and women who have committed their lives to protecting those freedoms and civil liberties that our country stands for, for standing up for our country when others won't. Today we're blessed with a Captain Shield Vietnam veteran, Roger Crossland. Not only did he serve in Vietnam as an officer, but then afterwards, when he was caught up again after 9-11 got attacked, he rogered up and he served again in Afghanistan. So Roger, I ask you to come in the middle and say a few words and inspire us all. participates in this event deserves America's respect. Uh, it's a great event. It's camaraderie. It's heading in a single direction with a physical goal and a moral goal. So I, I am very honored to be here. Now, when I got in, it was flintlocks and tomahawks, and fins, they hadn't invented fins then. We used to tie palm fronds to our feet, but I, I like a lot of the modern stuff. It's really a lot of fun. So, I I know you're, you're, you're understanding that this is both a serious and an enjoyable event, and you'll, you'll give it your best and I, I salute you.
makes our country great is our diversity, 100%. Bring the, the best and brightest, the most athletic to our nation. And I will tell you the truth, that before any event that has any significance where I am a leader or play a leadership role, I always give it to God. God. Good men and women come before you today to help send a positive message that our country needs right now. This is a tough swim. Be with them and give them strength. Let their compass be pointed north. Amen. 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 All right, so I'm going to tell you, I'm going to